Asanati Jim and Roger Hudson took their first race win at this year's 470 World Champs. Ahead of Rio, we met them at the Sports Science Institute. Usually when one thinks of sailing, you envisage calm oceans, sipping cocktails and of course fabulous bikinis. But with these guys, Roger and Asinati, sailing is an extreme sport which requires loads of physical and mental preparation, especially when you're off to the Olympics. Hi guys! Roger Nasanati, the last time we saw you about four years ago, you just come back from London, and in the meanwhile, you've jumped over 30 places in world rankings. How do you do that? Uh, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of time in the water, uh, training, a lot of time uh, racing out on the international circuit, a lot of time in the gym and preparing the equipment, and uh, also, you know, it takes the help of many uh, sponsors and partners that uh, enable us to do these things. Asinati, you grew up in the Eastern Cape, but only really developed a curiosity in sailing when you came here. What actually sparked that? I came to visit my mom for school holidays in 2002, and um, there was this amazing sailing school in Simonstown, close to where I live, the township called Radio, close to Simonstown. And a lot of friends and people that I knew were involved in the sport of sailing uh, in this uh, program called Izzy Vungu Vungu. And um, the, the guys actually gave me an opportunity to come in and have a a try and uh, from day one I was really taken by the sport and it's one of those things which if you don't ever try something you never experience it and I loved it from the start and yeah that's how I began my story. I can imagine there's a lot of mental preparation that goes into preparing for the Olympic Games. Well we get a lot of help you know we have a psychologist who we can call on when we need him but experience really helps with everything and uh, when you've been through the tough times and the good times you learn the best is just to try to keep it level not to get too excited, not to get too down when things go right or wrong. And uh, yeah, just uh, if you do all of the preparation work uh, for events or for ultimately for the Olympics, you tend to believe that everything will fall into place the way it should. And uh, that's really the key to it, is to prepare. Do you think that Rio is quite similar to Cape Town when it comes to sailing conditions? Rio as a venue, is uh, it's incredibly mixed because we race inside the Guanabara Bay, which is quite uh, flatter water. Uh, very tidal, strong currents, very shifty winds because of all the mountains around the bay. But we also have some race courses outside the bay which are very similar to Cape Town offshore, big waves, big swells, big breeze. Uh, and of course, you know, being from Cape Town, uh, we've grown up on those kind of conditions and we love it. Uh, it's super physical and uh, we really enjoy it. It's a high-speed technical and tactical sport with constantly shifting conditions. Up against the world's best, the Swedes and New Zealanders, our duo are well in the game. Hey guys, I've taken the liberty of ordering you espressos because I know that's what you guys drink, but I wasn't 100% sure, what do Olympic sailors eat? Generally we, we eat very light, salad, vegetables, uh, protein, but uh, we also have a good amount of uh, very healthy fats, coconut oil, that kind of thing, which actually really keeps you going. It's quite a challenge to be light, lean and strong. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that is the balance that we're looking for. You know, in, in racing, it's all about speed, and speed is all about the power to weight ratio. And of course, the boat has limits in terms of its minimum weight, but we can bring our weight down as far as we can, which we try to do, especially in competition. But the trick is to be strong at the same time, and that's where it becomes really challenging. So, you know, it's a constant work in progress for us, especially in these crucial weeks building up to big competitions like the Olympics. Asinati, you're 24 and you're 38. Does the age difference impact the team dynamic? I think it helps to have uh, someone older in a campaign like this. When you know that you're young and you don't have much experience in certain things, then uh, that brings a lot of respect from my side to what Rogers is sharing with me, which is pretty amazing. With us being 14 years apart, it's been a pretty natural um, situation in terms of leadership. I think that's really important, you know, but over the last uh, seven years, Asinati has really developed a lot of skills and he's taken the leadership role in, uh, in many aspects of the campaign. In Argentina, shallow water and plants near the surface hampered their results in some of the races, but responding to variables will be key in Rio. What have been the highlights in your career thus far? Definitely qualifying for London 2012 was crucial. Asinati was so young at the time and it was a very short campaign. You know, we took our ranking from 213 to 47 in a period of 18 months and, and sort of snuck into the games for London and that really enabled us to go ahead and build a much more professional project for the four years to Rio. So London 2012 qualification and then, um, you know, we've had some great results along the way in the last four years and obviously what we'd like is that uh, Rio 2016 is the ultimate highlight of this campaign and that's what we're aiming for. And that's an answer for you? The last World Championship was the biggest one for us. That week was just incredible how it all panned out. 
in Argentina for us. And um, leaving a world championship halfway through, it's not a small thing. And you only realize that um, something is going to come and you actually achieving something in life. You know? And that was the biggest thing for us. And also going to Rio and representing the country, it's a, it's a great honor. Who would you say are your biggest cheerleaders? Uh, I have um, Sibu. Um, Lucinati, his name, that, that name comes after me and he's my little boy and uh, he, he enjoys every little video that I share with him when I get to see him and uh, he doesn't know what's going on though yet but uh, hopefully he'll will, he will get a chance to actually experience it. He's my biggest friend. Obviously, you know, uh, dad and mum and uh, sister and uh, brother-in-law but I think most importantly uh, Lucia, my wife, you know, we've been together for 11 years and we've got two little boys, one of two and a half uh, and uh, one who's brand new and their support is invaluable and uh, constant and, it, you know, it's something that uh, really uh, holds me together and holds us together as a team. What sets you apart from the other competitors? I think the biggest thing is that we have diverse strengths, we have different strengths and that, that really is the key, I think, to being a good team. Uh, is when the team members have, uh, bring different things to the party and we certainly do. And when we get those different strengths working together with really good synergy, uh, that's when we can really perform. And uh, hopefully that's gonna be the case in Rio. Guys, thanks so much for taking time to chat to us and best of luck for Rio. Thank you, Thank you very you much. The guys are making good calls, have great speed, a new boat from the National Lotteries Commission and SA Sailing. And it's all hands on deck for Olympic glory.